just to give you some background, uh, the backstory, the title of the book comes from a document um, I discovered at, the, at SUNY uh, Buffalo where uh, some of William's papers are kept. Uh, Williams, uh, during the Spanish Civil War, late 1930s, was very involved with Spain, and it really brought his Spanish identity to the fore. He wrote an essay about Lorca, the poet, for the Kenyan Review, which was published in 1939. The draft for that essay went through, that essay went through 21 separate drafts before it was published. In one of the unpublished drafts, I discovered this amazing statement. It's amazing, it's prophetic, and it shows William's brilliance. If more of the Spanish were better translated, more in the spirit of modern American letters using word of mouth and no literary English, most of the principles which have been so hard won, etc. And so naturally, that had to become the title of the book, not using word of mouth, but by word of mouth, because these are translations, and translations always seek a route. And so it's by word of mouth. And as Williams once said, in doing a translation, the first question is to determine which language will you translate into. And he defined his objective as the American idiom. And now I want you to listen to Williams himself briefly describing American poetry, modern American poetry. In hearing the modern poem read today, the prime requisite of the moment is to listen, for if you do not do that, you will miss the opening significance of a structural change in the medium. We talk American, we don't talk English. Beginning to take place, the modern poem is much closer to Bach, perhaps, than to Puccini, the lyric song or balladry. It is a new conception of the line. So that I ask you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, as you probably will perfectly easily, just remember that I didn't ask you to understand anything, only to listen. 